Okay, so this video is about the uh, Future Land Observer Point Analysis. I have decided to do this in one video because they are both quite similar and they have the same parameters. So at the beginning I will tell you what's the difference between them and what can you do with those parameters. So the viewshot mm, analysis shows you the area on your raster um, layer which shows you the area which is visible from a given location and uh, observer points uh, in this analysis you can identify which observer points are visible from each raster surface so it's a little bit different and uh, the difference is shown in the attribute table okay so now about the parameters well um, you can of course work on the default parameters but sometimes there's a need to change them and uh, the parameters you you have are like the offset and you have two of them the offset a and offset b offset a is the height of the observer for example man or a tower or any other building and offset b is the height of the observed observed point so sometimes you have to change them the another parameter is the azimuth you can well this is the horizontal angle of uh, of your view so it might be like between 0 and 360 degrees and it goes clockwise like this or it can be like for example between 45 and 90 degrees the another is the vertical angle and the default value for this is 19 degrees and minus 19 degrees but you can change it uh, another one is radius and you have two of them radius 1 and radius 2 radius 1 is closer to uh, the observer radius 2 is the further one and both of them they are limit the search distance so sometimes when you want to for example um, decide about the distance of the horizon you can set the radius to and the default options are like this the offset a is one meter and offset b is like zero the um, horizontal angle is between zero and 30 360 degrees and radius 2 is set like for infinity so there's no um, any border of the horizon okay so the mm, viewshot analysis is in your arc toolbox and special special analyst tools in the fill here in surface at the bottom you have observer points and viewshot and you can also search them here if you have this window if you don't just open it here so I did the observer points and the view shirt um, before because I didn't want you to wait for results and when doing this um, I mean if you want to change the parameters you have to go to your um, point layer and open the attribute table and usually you don't have these columns but if you want to change the default parameters you have to add um, those columns like for example offset A, offset B, radius 2 there can be also the azimuth or vertical angle and you must remember that the name of columns must be like that it can't be changed because otherwise uh, the program will not recognize them and it will work on the default values and it is important also that the values should be in the same units as your digital elevation uh, model mine is in meters so um, here values are also in meters and uh, you should well here you have to input your raster uh, work on the aster 
cover them with the resolution of 30 meters and my point layer uh, I'm putting here and here you have to choose the location of your output raster and the factor can be the same because the units uh, the, the units and the x and uh, y are the same if it's not the same then you have to change it if you click here then you will have the all information you need and I also check this be because the earth is not flat and then you have to click OK and as a result you will have something like this and the pink color shows you the all the area which is invisible and the green one is the area which is visible and when you open the attribute table you'll see that there's a few rows and few values and the number of rows and number of values depends on the number of point locations in your point layer so um, the more points you have the more values you, you will have so this is the attribute table for my point uh, from for my point layer with mm, about 13 points and uh, this is the uh, attribute table for um, another viewsheet another viewsheet analysis which I done for a one for a point, point layer with just one point so there's just two rows only two values and if there's more point there will be more values and if you go to the symbology and properties you can set classes there were like seven rows starting from zero to six so you can choose for example six classes and have it like that and now you can see the different areas so the red one is invisible but there are also colors which are visible more and or less so you can change it and interpret as you want and uh, okay and uh, well I did also the um, viewshed for my point layer with just one point and the first one was done with the option radius which is here so you can see that the, this green area is visible area that will change just the symbology so the pink will be not visible and uh, well this one might be that okay so this is the visible area and here is the another viewshed analysis which I done for the same point but with that, without the radius um, parameter and it looks like this so when I change it it goes like that so you can notice that the um, searching area change a little bit the visible area is changed it, it depends on the of course on the radius which is here so the pink one is um, for the this point without uh, column radius and the um, turquoise one the, the green or blue one as you want is for with the po with the column radius two okay so this is about the view shed and when you're doing the observer point it will look a little bit different 
and here you input your Aster global dem and the um, observer point layer and it cannot be more than 16 points I have only 13 and again you have to choose the location the Z factor and uh, check this okay and the result will look like that so you have um, stretch values and when you open the attribute table it looks like this and here each column is uh, corresponds with the observer and uh, if I had my observer point my uh, points like that so the uh, zero is the observer one and uh, for example the number 12 is um, observer 13 okay so here you have the number of um, cells which are visible or in this case invisible by uh, from from this location you cannot see any of the observers so if I check this you will have all the invisible area and if I choose for example another one like this one then it's that area of uh, observer for so that's the main difference but in symbology you can display either um, not here in symbology you can display either um, the value or when you go to the classified so you can change value for example on observer um, 4 and with it will show only the the areas which are visible by observer 4 and it's here and the two is it, it's the selected area so I just unselect that so it looks like that well I think that is all I hope you it will also helpful for you and it ex I hope that I explained it clearly and well enjoy and good luck